lovely people, welcome back to Topless Baker. Now this week we're getting even more Mexican food in the Topless Kitchen because we're gonna make elotes, which is a delicious Mexican street corn. So when I was traveling in America, a few months ago, I went to LA to film with Tastemade, which was amazing. And we went out for dinner and we had elotes. And I was like, what is this? And it was this delicious sweet corn dish, which is so easy to make. And it's basically covered in mayonnaise and cheese. And that sounds gross, but it tastes incredible. So what I'm gonna do now is throw some corns into boiling water. Now, usually you would grill these, but I haven't got a barbecue. It's England and I don't have a barbecue. So if you've got a barbecue, shh, 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 grill that thing up. I'm just gonna boil them for about eight minutes. And then once they're cooked, we'll come back and throw all our toppings on. Okay, our corn is cooked. It's nice and tender to the fork, which means that when I poke a fork in it, it kind of is soft. Um, and at this point, if you've got a grill pan at home, you could throw this in a grill pan, get some grill marks on there, crunch it up. I wish I had a barbecue. Maybe I need to get a barbecue. I'll invest in one and we'll do it next time. So I'm gonna dry these off because we don't want too much moisture on them because we're gonna cover them in other goodies. So just pat them dry until all that water's kind of gone. Now that you've dried them off, what you wanna to do to make life a little bit easier is grab a stick or like a skewer. This is actually a chopstick. Totally not the right thing I should be using, but it was the only thing I had handy. And this just makes like the, the smothering a lot easier because it's all on this and doesn't get on your hands. So what I'm gonna do is take some mayonnaise and I've put a few garlic granules in there. And what you wanna do is literally just lather this in mayonnaise. And like I said, if it was traditional, it would be grilled. So what they do is they grill it on the streets. You have these people on the streets just lathering grilled corn in mayonnaise and cheese and lime. And it is a pretty impressive thing to watch because they just whip these things up so quickly, okay? And we're gonna smother this guy so he's nice and covered. So once that guy is all covered, we're now gonna add the cheese element. Now, traditionally, you would use cojita cheese. And I don't know if I said that right, but we don't have cojita cheese in England, unfortunately. So the closest thing, because it's like a crumbly, salty cheese, is like a Parmesan or a feta. So if you can't get cojita cheese, which try and definitely get it, it's really tasty, I'm gonna use Parmesan, okay? So that's kind of my alternative. And what you wanna do is just cover this guy in Parmesan cheese and it will stick because of that mayo layer that you've added, okay? On we go with all of that. And look at that. And all the mayo is kind of like melting in and then it's melting that cheese. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, and once that is all covered, the next stage is to add some chili powder, okay? So this gives it a little bit of spice. I'm gonna use a mild chili powder because I can't handle my heat, okay? I'll be honest. And you, it gives it a bit of color too. So you see that red kind of popping through the yellow, popping through the white, it's beautiful. So throw that on there. Just a sprinkle. I once put way too much on and I got a big bite of hot chili powder and I was like, <coughs> but it's fine. Just do little sprinkles, like that. And then we're gonna lay this guy down quickly and I'm gonna add a bit of fresh lime, okay? Cut that guy open and then squeeze it through your hands, okay? And this is gonna add a really nice little balance. Just go over the top. And then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more cheese because why not? And then that is it. What you can do is garnish this with a bit of fresh coriander or cilantro, whatever you want to call it. But that is an elote. That is so simple to make. And these things are delicious. So I've got my stick. I've got my other hand. I'm going to have a little bite. Mm. Oh, that is so good. You get this heat of chili and then you get the saltiness of parmesan and then the sweetness of the lime. Oh, I feel like I'm back in Los Angeles having dinner with my taste mate friends. Okay, that's delicious. Me and my little chopstick elote, we're gonna go off somewhere and I'm gonna finish this guy. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you wanna see more savory food, if you wanna see more Mexican food, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week for more Topless Baker goodness. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Now that you've dried them. <laughs> okay. Is to get some kind of stick, 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 stick. Stop.